Zell boy army welcome to another spicy one on the channel in today's video i am going to be talking about five things i love about fifa 22. there's going to be a second part to this video where i'll do about five things i don't like about fifa 22. just to be balanced i want to talk about some of the things that i've enjoyed on the game so far this year and then in the next video it'll be some of the things that i've not liked as much fifa 22 for me gameplay wise and that's one of the things that i'll go into later in the video is one of the best we've had in a long time but there's plenty of issues with it but there's also plenty of stuff i really like about it. and the first thing i'm going to say that i really like about fifa 22 is the variety of players you can use I, it's not it's not a perfect game you still can't use tony cruz or sergio busquets really but you do notice different stats in a much better way i feel like weak foot whilst it does make a difference is not the be all and end all on previous fifas it's still nice to have it i'd rather have it but you you know it's certain stats but one of the best examples i can give is this mostavoy card i'm using a marksman on him on previous fifas the only chem style i would have put on this guy would have been a hunter because pace was so vital that the only viable option to put on him would be hunter to make him fast enough to be usable on this FIFA, don't get me wrong, you do notice sometimes that I don't have much pace on him, he's a bit slow. But you notice playing in the cam roll, he's really, really good technically. And being really, really good technically makes a big difference. And boosting those technical stats with the dribbling um, and the shooting is nice. I'm tempted to put a finisher on him. A finisher might be a bit better on him to up his agility. Um, I just like having the long shots on him as well. But... You can use technical players like this guy at camp, whereas on previous FIFAs, you just wouldn't have been able to. Um, I think the variety of players that you can use is a lot better. Pace isn't OP as much. I've been using Haaland in midfield on my ro uh, not ro my main account. That um, It's the rule breakers Haaland. He's got insane passing. And that's a nice thing that I think about the gameplay this year and players like the passing stats a lot more noticeable, so a KDB or a rule breakers Harlan, so to speak, do stand out more. Um, I don't think you just have to have pacey physical players as much anymore. Um, I would wish FIFA could get to the point where slow centre-backs with better position was a thing. I think one of the issues there, honestly, is that a centre-back like Varane in real life, who's rapid, probably doesn't have as good positioning as a Ruben Diaz, who's slower. But on FIFA, they have similar defending physical stats, and then Varane's just miles better because of the pace. I wish that they could reflect that a bit more. Um, but yeah, I feel like the options you can use are a lot better this year. I also feel the game is nowhere near as paid to win. Some might disagree on that, but this is from someone who's hit 16 and 0 numerous times on this Road to Glory account, and then 16 and 0 on a pay to win account. My pay to win teams were 15 mil. This Road to Glory is now worth about 1 million. The players in this team, I've got Usman Dembele up front with Fakir. My pay to win account has Eusebio and Ginola, who are stats-wise a lot better. I'm not saying the game, does you don't have an advantage using the better players. You definitely do. But it's nowhere near as big as previous FIFAs, which again adds to the variety of players you can use. So the number one thing that I'm putting here is the variety of types of players you can use. I really like that. For number two, it's going to be the new reward setup. I do not think rewards are good right now in terms of what rewards you get, but the way you get them, I think, is pretty good. So, champs. I think the playoff system, whilst not perfect, it's not too bad, it's an extra set of rewards. I think the playoff system should actually be like a pre-warm-up tournament where I don't think you should have to qualify for champs. But if we look at actual champs rewards, to be able to get the top rewards for 16 wins... And then people be able to get rewards for like 12 wins, 8 wins and be able to get Team of the Weeks. I think it's really good that people can actually enjoy good rewards now without having to sweat crazy. I like that Champs is only 20 games. Champs now takes me 2 to 3 hours max. Whereas before it was taking 8 to 10 hours. Way less stress. No rivals points. People quit games a lot easier. It's a much better system. I love rivals that it's only 7 wins in your tier that for that week. Whereas before you had to play like 40, 50 games in the top division to get the top rewards. I just think the rewards are not very good right now. I think the rewards need to be a lot better is the issue. 
Um, but the actual reward setup, the amount of time EA are asking you to play this year is really good. And I like that. And I think it's a big improvement. So number two, the actual setup of the structure system for rewards. The third thing I'm going to talk about is gameplay. Gameplay is one way you could spend an hour going through the things you like about it, the things you don't like. But for me, especially on old gen in good gameplay, this is my favorite FIFA I've played in a long time. I think it's my favorite FIFA since maybe FIFA 18. And we've had 19, 20, 21. So we've had three FIFAs in between then. I think that the skill gap on this game on old gen is bigger than new gen. Um, I don't like new gen as much, even though I still think it's decent. Um, I think the pace is the most balanced it's been in a long time. You don't need to have 99 pace at centre-back, hence you aren't seeing full-backs at centre-back as much. I think the passing, whilst it's definitely got some bugs, works quite well at times. I think the shooting, now that they fix keepers in the box from being 2 OP, is really nice. I think outside the box shot's pretty decent. I think tricks are balanced at the moment. On the video for things I don't like, there'll be issues about the gameplay and bugs that I mentioned. But I think the gameplay right now is a lot more enjoyable than it has been on previous FIFAs. And it means when I'm loading up to play Rivals Champs, I'm, I wouldn't want to use the word dread, but I'm much more looking forward to playing the game than previous FIFAs. The gameplay, if they can fix a few of the bugs and issues with the game, is going to make it so much better and make it a much more enjoyable game than previous years. On pr last year's FIFA, I stopped playing around May time. I still did a little bit of content, but barely played it from May, June onwards. Simply put, I just wasn't enjoying it anymore. I needed a bit of time off the game because I just found the gameplay really hard to play. Whereas right now, I quite like playing the game and think it's actually a lot more rewarding, higher skill gap, and a lot more balanced. Fourth one I'm going to talk about is co-op. You can't go into the co-op menus properly on here without actually um, uh, inviting someone. But I really do enjoy co-op in this year's game. I think co-op is something they need to expand upon. They should add it to draft. As in, you can play with guests in draft, but you need like online co-op. I want them to add it to that. I want them to do a co-op foot champs. I want them to do a separate leaderboard in rivals. But playing co-op rivals makes it so much more enjoyable for me. Playing 2v2 on this game is a lot more fun, in my opinion, because when you get screwed over by the game or it's delayed and bad stuff's happening, it's a lot more enjoyable to sit there and talk about it with a friend rather than just whine about it to yourself. Um, Co-op also increases the skill gap because there's a lot more you can do with it. There's less AI. Um, it's just a lot more fun. There's not really any video games outside of FIFA that I play that it's just single player. FIFA, yes, it's not single player in the sense of you play 1v1 online but most of the time, but I don't really play any other 1v1 online video games or single player games. All the games I like to play are multiplayer competitive online games. And I think 2v2 brings a lot more of that. The communication's fun. And I just enjoy it a lot more. And I would honestly say, if you've not found someone to play co-op with, go on to Twitch streams. There's plenty of people in there who want to play. Comment on this video if you're looking for a co-op partner. Co-op, for me, massively has improved my enjoyment of the game. I'd recommend it to anyone. Fifth and final thing I like on this year's game is actually the store. On the road to glory, so I'm not spending many things on it, but I quite like these customization bundles that they're adding to the game. I've not actually bought anything from these yet, but I do think this long term is the way the game should go. As FIFA points gets potentially banned in certain countries or the way packs are right now, so where uh, you could open a rare players pack, I think there's a decent chance that these. Um, trick items and things like this are the things that actually start to um become what they you can buy in the store they put a lot more emphasis into um the stadium the kit your cosmetics and i feel like they could do a season pass a bit like fortnite wars on all these do and i think the store is a the way they're doing it now is a step towards it i'm not a fan of the way well, let's do my preview pack why not i'm not a fan of um FIFA points, the system, how it is right now, how pay to win, it can make the game. But I think the store, the way they do it now, is a step towards how it should be. And I'm really hoping that that's how it ends up being. And I think there is a chance that they could put some pretty cool cosmetic items in here that you, we could enjoy a lot and will add to the game a lot personally. So 
I hope to see them do more of that. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see. But um, yeah, lots to like about FIFA 22. Um, I'm hoping the content gets a bit better. That'll be something I'll definitely touch on in what I don't like as much about FIFA 22. Yeah, that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys like about this game. Appreciate your support as always. Keep it spicy. See you in the next one.